The Nikon Z92 and the Nikon Z9H are both rumored to be high-speed versions of Nikon's flagship Z9, with speculated features that position them as top contenders for sports, wildlife, and action photography. But what sets these two rumored models apart? Based on the latest leaks, let's compare the Nikon Z92 and Nikon Z9H and see where each of these cameras could shine. The Nikon Z92 is expected to be an upgraded version of the original Z9, but what makes it stand out is its potential global shutter. A global shutter could be a game-changer for photographers who deal with fast-moving subjects. Traditional rolling shutters can cause distortion, especially when panning or capturing high-speed objects. A global shutter eliminates this by capturing the entire image simultaneously, making it perfect for sports, wildlife, and even automotive photography. The Z92 is also rumored to feature a 20.4 megapixel sensor with an ultra-fast readout speed of 0.4 milliseconds. That level of speed means photographers could freeze any moment with extreme precision, and the global shutter ensures there's no rolling shutter effect, even when subjects are flying by. The second key feature on everyone's radar is its impressive flash synchronization speed of 1, 2000 of a second. Flash sync speeds like this are rare in cameras today, which makes the Z92 an exciting option for studio and fashion photographers, where precise flash timing can make or break a shot. In terms of processing power, the Nikon Z92 will likely come with dual Xpeed 7 processors, even though Nikon has reportedly begun testing the Xpeed 8 in other models. While some may be disappointed by this, dual Xpeed 7 chips are still more than capable of handling high-speed continuous shooting and advanced video features, making it an incredibly powerful machine overall. Now, let's turn to the Nikon Z9H rumored to be Nikon's answer to high-speed cameras like the Canon R1, R3 and Sony A93. The Z9H is expected to pack some serious performance. Like the Z92, the Z9H is rumored to sport a 20.4 megapixel sensor with the same lightning-fast 0.4 millisecond readout speed. This sensor speed should make both the Z9H and Z92 excellent choices for precisely capturing fast action. What sets the Z9H apart, though, is its specialized focus on high-speed performance, which is designed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Canon and Sony. It's still unclear whether the Z9H will feature a global shutter like the Z92, but it's likely that Nikon will be pushing for it to match its competitors in this department. Flash sync speed is another area where the Z9H stands out. Rumors suggest the Z9H will support flash sync speeds of up to 1, 2000 of a second, which is similar to the Z92 and leads above most current models. This makes both cameras formidable choices for anyone working in controlled environments, such as studios, where flash performance matters. Like the Z92, the Z9H is expected to feature dual Xpeed 7 processors. While we might be seeing newer chips in future Nikon models, the Xpeed 7 processors should provide more than enough firepower for most professionals. The Nikon Z92 appears to be a more versatile camera, excelling in sports, wildlife, and action photography thanks to its rumored global shutter. The Z9H, on the other hand, seems to be a specialized high-speed model designed to directly compete with Sony's A93 and Canon's R1, R3 series. If you're a photographer looking for ultra-high speed performance, the Z9H could be tailored more towards your needs. One of the main talking points is the global shutter. The Z92 is rumored to include this advanced technology, which would significantly reduce rolling shutter issues. The Z9H, however, may or may not adopt this feature. If it doesn't, it could be a key area where the Z92 has an advantage, particularly for photographers dealing with fast-moving subjects. Both cameras are expected to offer flash sync speeds of 1, 2000 of a second, which is pretty groundbreaking. 
Whether you're working in a studio with strobe lighting or doing high-end fashion photography, this feature puts both models ahead of the competition. Both the Z9II and Z9H will likely ship with dual XSpeed 7 processors. However, Nikon's decision not to include the newer XSpeed 8 processors may have some photographers wondering if these cameras will fall short of their potential. Still, dual XSpeed 7 processors are no slouches, and they should provide excellent performance for high-speed shooting and video. Both models are rumored to be nearing their final stages of development, with potential release dates hovering between Q4 of 2024 and Q1 of 2025. Given that Nikon is still testing these models, it's hard to say which one will hit the market first or whether they'll be released simultaneously. The Z9 II might be positioned as the more mainstream option, while the Z9H could target a more niche market of photographers needing blazing fast performance. Ultimately, the decision may come down to your specific needs. Are you looking for the best all-around performance with advanced tech like a global shutter? Then the Z9 II might be your pick. Or are you chasing after ultra-fast, high-performance shooting without compromise? The Z9H could be calling your name. Either way, Nikon has some exciting options in the pipeline. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and thanks for watching.